Hey guys, what's going on? It's Troy. Um, so the tool is done. Um, FYI, I'm going to be talking in kind of a lower voice than, than I normally do because the whole family is asleep right now, so I'm trying not to wake them up. But anyways, um, the tool's done. Uh, as far as I can tell, everything seems to be working good, working solidly. Um, now it's just a matter of me putting together a couple videos uh, so you guys know how to use the tool. Um, watching a, somebody run through it on a video is a lot easier than just me typing stuff out. Uh, I'm trying to avoid as many easy questions um, as I can this time. Um, while I don't mind helping in troubleshooting, uh, sometimes the repetitiveness is, is kind of trying. Um, so that's why I'm going to make these tutorial videos to hopefully make it easier. You can always reference back to the video. I'm going to run through all these different tools um, so you know exactly how to use them. And if you can't get it with video evidence or video instructions, then I really don't know what to tell you. Um, unless it's like just a software thing that we maybe can work out. But hopefully this will alleviate a lot of the questions that come up uh, with how to use these tools. They are very basic and easy, but if you're not familiar with Excel, sometimes it can seem daunting. So again, hopefully this is going to help out. Um, instead of doing one long video like I normally do, I'm going to break this up into um, basically how to do each tool. So this first video right here is going to be an overview on what the entire tool is, what it what it does, and uh, and just a brief like summary of what each each part of it um, is about. And then I'll do uh, an individual one for the trade edits, individual one for the build the edits um, progression. I've kind of ran through that one. I already have that one video posted. Um, I will do it again um, just to finish it up because there is a few extra things we added in. Um, but I think I'll hold off on, on doing that video. I'll release all this stuff first because um, you can follow that along and get a good idea of how, how the tool works when it comes to progression and regression. Um, I'll do one where I do everything all together, like every single part of the tool running through a couple seasons. And I will also show the O-line optional dev upgrade that you have to do manually. Um, <clears throat> But anyways, this, so this is the, the overview of what the tool is. Um, this is what we're working with right now. This is what it looks like. So each one of these buttons is a macro that runs a part of this tool. Um, I broke this up into a drop-down list. Um, I know myself included. Um, sometimes when you're clicking through things, you might click the wrong button. If you do that, then it kind of kind of screws up the whole thing. Um, you don't want to do that. So before you even run anything you can sit there and click on this drop down and then whatever stage you're on or step you're on um, you would click that so if you're running the first progression for the first time which would be year one mostly um, or if you're in the middle of a franchise and you want to just start running it that would be your year one even if you're in the middle so the first time you run the tool basically that hence it says first time running progression you click on that and then those are the only two macros that you need for this stage you can't accidentally click on the other ones I did this specifically um, to try to avoid mistakes because you cannot go back from a macro there is no you know all or uh, undo or all disease or anything like that you click on a macro it's gonna run its macro and then that's it uh, so anyways we have one for each each stage um, you have the first time running progression first time running your off-season regression second time running your progression, second time running your off-season regression, your trade edits, your ability edits, and this was league distribution. You don't really need this one anymore since we've kind of gone through it, but after I release the official version, I wouldn't mind. Um, some people may be doing some sims if you're bored, uh, 10 years preferably. Uh, running this league distribution report once a year, right before you do your progression, um, and they're just saving saving that and then at the end um, shoot me a DM with all that information uh, it just gives me a good idea of how the lead distribution works out I've gotten one back since I released the most recent recent beta with the new tier system and it came back very good it is only one sample size um, but I'm very very confident that what we have going is going to be solid but again if you feel like doing that that would be much appreciated but anyways back to the overview so that's that's what the tool is you click on show all you can see everything you got here this is the basic structure of of the tool um, everything you need is on this tool macros right here uh, except for the 
O-line dev upgrade, which is optional. This is a feature I put in because Madden will not ever upgrade your offense alignment um, naturally at the end of the season for their dev trait. This, to me, makes offense alignment fall behind basically the whole league as far as like naturally having these upgrades. Um, and the way the tool works too is that players that get these upgrades at the end of the year do get some kind of skill point bonus or skill point reroll depending on their age and stuff like that that goes into it. Bottom line, if there's an upgrade in the game, then the player benefits. Since no offense alignment ever upgrades, no offense alignment ever benefits. Um, it doesn't really have much to do with abilities because there is no X factor abilities for offense alignment as far as I know. Um, so if a guy goes from superstar to X factor, he's not going to get something special. Um, but on the flip side, his overall can go higher and a 98 overall tackle is much better than an 88 overall tackle. So that's basically how that, that breaks down. Um, I will go over how to use this on another video too, but um, this is a, another thing that was added in just recently. So that's basically the overview um, of what this tool is. Uh, you have, like I said, you have your year one progressions, your year year one off season, year two, year two off season trait edits, ability edits. Uh, there's an ability edits for old franchise. I'll go over that too when I do the ability edit video and your lead distribution, and that's it. Um, I created this tool because I hated the way that Madden has turned it into basically a grind, for lack of a better term, um, to make players better. Uh, it's completely unrealistic to me. Um, you don't just sit there and decide you want to run for 2,000 yards with a running back because who, any one of us can do that with any one of our running backs if we really want to in this game. Um, most of us are sim-minded, so we wouldn't do that, but it's only natural to play this game and have a little bit of, of abuse that you're used to it, where, whether it be calling plays that you know are money plays, even if you're not a money play player. like It's just natural to want to do stuff that's going to make you you win and everybody wants to win we don't like to lose but um we all try to play sim minded but on the flip side like i said you're always going to have an advantage over the cpu um and there's nothing i hated worse than being able to run for 2,000 yards with a 65 overall player i just god i think that is just completely defeats the purpose of of ratings mattering and and stuff like that i mean if i can get make that player play like zeke then What's the point? Um, but on the f uh, uh, with the with the system they gave us, what well, what else were we supposed to do? If we wanted that that guy we drafted in the seventh round that was a low rated player, we had to start him right away because if he didn't get any playing time, he wouldn't get any XP. And without XP, you can't get skill points, and you can't get skill points, you can't progress. So it was just the way they uh, the EA has put this game, which is what most games are leading to, which is is, is just whether you you have to buy virtual coins to make your players better or or doing something like this it's just yeah it's just a grind it's not fun i don't want it to be a grind i want to have breakout players like like patrick mahomes who nobody thought was going to be a superstar and now he's you know the best quarterback in the game um i wanted that i wanted to emulate that somehow and i've had this idea for years and i just there was no way i could ever do it so anybody familiar with operation sports and my xp sliders that i've been doing the past what three or four years now which talk about a grind anyways You guys are gonna have to bear with me because my headphones constantly decide they want to cut out of me so um yeah at least it lets me know when it cuts out so i can sit there and fix it but anyways um yeah talk about a grind on those xp sliders and i did those for years just because i wanted to make the game as realistic as possible and i think i did a pretty good job with what ea allowed me to do with their game um but once this came out to pc last year and then once uh Bep was able to make the franchise editor, which was was key. I couldn't do any of this stuff I'm doing right now. Most of us can do any of the stuff we're doing right now without his editor to get into franchise because that was the 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 vault that was holding us back this whole time. And now once we open that thing up, oh my god, look at all the stuff that's come out. I mean, it makes this game amazing. And I'm pretty passionate about it, as you can probably tell. I put I put a stupid amount of hours into this this stuff. Um to the point where my wife and kids probably are quite irritated 
um, with me. My kids love watching me play Madden. They love playing Madden too. Um, but when they see me doing this type of stuff, they're like, seriously, dad, like, what are you doing? Um, anyways, so I'm very passionate about this and I've had this idea for years and I've finally have been able to put all this stuff together. I've had great ideas from other sources too. And I've been able to, to create these things. And, um, honestly, like just hearing, hearing people have great experiences with it, that, that for me, that makes it all worthwhile. Cause not only am I, am I enjoying it, but everybody else that is part of this little community we have um, is enjoying it too. When I hear that people can't even play regular Madden anymore without using, you know, Sabo's gameplay and my progression tools and stuff like that, dude, that, that's awesome. That's great to hear because I thought I was creating something that was special, um, but to hear it from other people, yeah, it really, really, really makes me feel good. So um, with <laughs> with that little soapbox that I just jumped up on and then and, and went out with, uh, one last thing I want to show on this video is my order of operation and how I suggest everything is ran and what order everything's ran in. Um, week one, regular season. Okay. And the reason I say regular season, not preseason is because the, the trait tool, trait tool and the, the ability tool they're they're dependent on overalls of players. So once you go through your off season, and you get to the preseason. Um, sometimes there's people sitting in free agency that have have skill points and they haven't been upgraded yet. So I want to give a four week shot chance of people getting signed. And if you use Sabo's uh, mod, there his uh, logic mod, a lot of the players will get signed. They're not going to just sit there in free agency. Had another cutout. So uh, they're not going to just sit there in free agency. So they'll get signed, and once they get signed, they'll get upgraded, and then they'll have their overall they're supposed to have. So I suggest going to week one of your regular season, and then that's when you're going to run the trait tool and the ability tool that same week. Again, I'm going to go through how to do this on another video, um, but that's what I would do week one before you start playing. Uh, week three is my recommended week to run the progression. Now, this doesn't have to be done week three. You can do it. Anytime from week three to, I wouldn't wait until week 17, that seems kind of ridiculous, but I would say anytime between week three and week 16 that you want to run your progression, you can run your progression, but it has to be week three at the earliest because you need to load your draft class in there before you run the progression tool. So if you're going to use a Madden draft class, you can just leave it as is. If you're going to import a draft class, whether that be somebody from online, whether it's the, the draft generator. Um, that cursive and lobs made, um, whatever it may be, but you need to import that file before you run your progression. Because when you import the file, it throws off the the order of players in the player table, um, and the progression tool is very dependent on that order for each season that you run it. Okay, so uh, if that thing gets jacked up, you're going to have players that that are supposed to get skill points later on that don't get skill points, and it's just going to get messed up. So you need a have that draft class that you're going to use set before you run your progression tool. And again, it can be anytime between week three and week 16. And you can load draft classes whenever you want to between week three and week 16. Like it doesn't have to be right away, but as long as you load that draft class before you've ran your progression tool, you're good to go. So anyways, I'm going with week three. Um, I want to have as much progression for my players and use them for that season as I can. Um, I was a big proponent on splitting it evenly before but i really like the idea of, of having these guys ready to go for most of my season that i'm in um two weeks later from whenever you run your tool your progression your first progression you're going to want to run the trait tool and the ability tool one more time the reason it's two weeks later is because if i load, uh, run the progression tool week three and i sim to week four every team will upgrade their player except a team any teams that are on by for some reason, CPU, when they're on buy, they don't upgrade their players. So you have to send one more week for those teams to have a game, and they will upgrade all their players. So two weeks after you run the tool, every player that has skill points or earns skill points should have been upgraded by their team. And, of course, you're going to do your own upgrades. Um, and then you're going to run the trait tool and the ability tool one more time because, again, they're overall dependent. So if you have guys that bumped up overall, you're going to want them to either get their extra abilities or to have...
or to have their traits um, change depending on what, what their overall is too. Uh, Pro Bowl week, um, I still need to do some tweaks to this, but as is the way it is, um, it'll still work. So anyways, I'll, we'll, I'll get more into that later, but Pro Bowl week, um, we're going to use um, the uh, offensive lineman dev upgrade tool um, to manually upgrade your players. Uh, the way that works is you run the tool, see who's supposed to get upgraded, and then you have to go into Madden manually and actually upgrade their, their trait. Um, you can't do it through the, the franchise editor. It just it just doesn't work. We haven't figured that out yet. Um, but if you upgrade it in game, then they will get any ability they should should have. And then when you go and run it through the tool in the off season, that'll show that they they upgraded. They'll get their bonuses and everything will work out. And then off season stage one is when you're going to run your off season regression tool um, to knock that stuff out. And then that's it for the year. This is basically how it's going to go every year. And as I see, you see me here, wash, rinse, repeat. Um, you just do the same thing every year. Uh, again, I try to make it as simple as possible. We got one less time to run the progression tool now instead, since we're only doing it once a year instead of twice a year. Um, everything's all together. And yeah, between, you know, if you're doing it the way I'm going to do it, between week three and week five, you're going to have to load stuff three times. But after that, you don't have to do anything till off season, really. I mean, Pro Bowl week, yeah, you'll go in and, and do a quick thing. But th I mean, it's, it's all easy stuff. And you know, it's a small price to pay for making this game awesome. Um, with that, since my damn headphones keep cutting out, and it's really starting to aggravate me, and i got to make a handful more videos here, I will sign off on this one and start uploading it, and then I will start working on the next video. So I will see you guys then.